everyone welcome back to programminginpython.com here in this video i am going to tell you about one more sorting technique that is merge sort in the previous two sorting techniques we saw bubble sort and selection sort here we are going to see about merge sort this merge sort is much more efficient than uh, uh, the previous two sorting algorithms bubble sort and selection sort the time complexity of this uh, merge sort is order of n log n uh, for the worst case scenario it its time complexity is order of n log n and for other algorithms like selection sort and bubble sort its time complexity is n square for average case itself so that so that tells us that this merge sort is much more efficient algorithm so now let us consider some unsorted uh, unsorted list or array like this with uh, some eight elements see this is a uh, list of with uh, eight elements uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight elements and when we apply merge sort on this uh, what happens is first it divides into two equal halves divides the complete list into two equal halves that means four seven eight nine and the other list will be two twenty five twenty five eighteen nine and seventy four now this uh, this main list is divided into two lists, and again this sublist uh, four seven eight nine is divided into two equal halves. That is four seven and eight nine. And this uh, uh, this major list, this second sublist is also divided into two parts: two twenty five and eighty nine seventy four. So I'll just use some space here. So again, this uh, four seven list is divided into two halves. That is four, seven, and this eight nine is also divided into two of eight nine, and this two twenty five is also divided into two lists. That is two and twenty five, and finally this eight nine and seventy four is also divided into two single individual items. So always these uh, single items are sorted. So what we can do is now we can uh, merge them back into the original sets. So what we do is then the four seven now now this four seven is sorted already sorted so it will be as four seven and the next uh, okay I'll go upwards here so four seven is already sorted here eight nine is all also already sorted two twenty five is also already sorted so we'll change this to seventy four and eighty nine seventy four and eighty nine so that's how this uh, will work and now you'll see this. Uh, uh, this uh, these two lists will be now combined into this sublist. So we'll check first with four and eight. If uh, both in both of them four is the least element, so we will increment this uh, list and we'll add four here and also we'll increment this list. Now we'll compare with seven and eight. No seven no, seven is the least element, so it will be placed here. So this array is completed. Next we'll check between eight and nine. So eight is the list. We'll place it here. Next nine is the list. We'll place it here. So even here now, we'll check between two and seventy-four between this first element and this first element. Two is the least element, so we'll place it here. Now we'll check between twenty-five and seventy-four. Here twenty-five is the least element. We'll place it here. Now we'll check between seventy-four and eighty-nine. So seventy-four is the least element. We'll place it here. Next, eighty nine is next list in this eighty nine. We'll place it here. So now again, we'll merge these two lists into this uh, uh, sorted list of this thing. So we'll compare between four and two. So two is the least element. So we we'll replace this with two. We we'll increment uh, this list and also this list. That means from next time we'll check from twenty five. And in this list, next time when you want to insert, we'll check from this uh, second position that is seven. So now we'll compare with four and twenty-five. So four is the least element. We'll uh, remove this and we'll keep four here. Next we'll compare with seven and twenty-five. So seven is the least element. So we'll remove it here and we'll keep seven here. So next we'll compare with eight and twenty-five. So eight is the least element. So we'll remove it here and keep eight here. Next we'll compare with. Nine and twenty-five. Obviously, nine is the smallest element. We'll keep it here. Next, now this all this left side, uh, left side uh, list is sorted. 
we'll move with the right side and we'll in the right side we also finish this two so we'll compare with 24 at uh, sorry 25 and 79 74 so 25 is smallest we'll keep it here so 74 and 89 we'll check 74 is smallest so we'll keep it here and finally left over item is 89 that's how this uh, merge sort works first it divides the list into two halves until single element is left so we'll keep on dividing this uh, uh, main uh, unsorted list into halves so this is the this will divide into four equal halves so we divide it into two equal halves with four elements each the next we divide into two elements with four sublists next we divide with single element with eight sublists and then again we sorted them each sublist and then merge them back into a complete sorted list so this is how the merge sort would work so now let's uh, start the coding for this so first i will ask the user to enter the size of the list so i'll call this as size equal to um, uh, we'll input that is we'll prompt the user to enter size of the list and i will cast this into integer so the number should be integer and now after um, okay, asking the size of the list i, I will run a for loop for i in range in range of this size so what i will do is now I will uh, add these elements. We will call these elements and I will again prompt the user to enter the input element. That is, I will ask to enter the element. And now I uh, will create a new list and append them here. I will call this as uh, list. So we will initialize, we have initialized an empty list. And now I'm adding elements to this list by using list dot append. So we'll append these elements to that list. So finally, now uh, all the elements which user have entered are stored in this list. So now what I'll do is I can simply call merge sort algorithm now on this list. Now I need to define this merge sort function so i'll go here and i'll create a new function called uh, merge sort and this uh, parameter i will take it as sort list so we need to sort this list so i have named that as sort list so now uh, first what we'll do is as i said we'll divide the main list into two equal halves that is we need to find the starting position the mid position and the last position so now we'll find those positions mid position starting position is obviously zero the last position is the length of the list minus one so we need to find the mid position so if length of the sort list is greater than one we'll find the mid element now we'll say mid equal to this uh, length of sort list and we'll float divide by 2 that means if even numbers uh, or odd numbers is there it won't get floating points that is it will get integers perfect integers so I'll use this type of function that is made and also we'll find the left half that is from 0 to mid and the right half will be to zero that is we can do this uh, slicing operations on list this is left half and now the same can be applied to right half uh, we'll call this uh, uh, sort list instead of uh, starting to mid we'll do from mid to the end so this will give us the right half so if only positions of left half and right half so now as I said we need to further divide this uh, uh, this two uh, these two lists so I will call this left half merge sort of left half and again merge sort of right half this is a recursive this is a recursive function it sorts again and again and again until this uh, uh, sort list is greater than one 
so at some point of time we are left with only single element in a list as I shown in the example before so this in this recursive function we will call this uh, left half and right half until each and, every, each and every element has its own list now after this we need to merge them back into sorted list so for that we will initialize some variables like uh, three variables for uh, now for left list, right list and the sorted element list and uh, actually sorted element list means uh, that is we need to remove the element present in the main list and place this uh, sorted list as I shown in the example so for that we need this uh, three element j and k one for left one for right and for the main list so now as I said we check with uh, first element in uh, uh, left half and first element in right half and compare both of them so for that we will write this while loop and this is also one basic check while i should be less than left half and j should be less than length of right half so now we will uh, do this uh, comparison and uh, uh, merging thing So now we'll check if uh, left off of i, left off of i that is the first element in left off, if it is less than right off of i. So what we'll do is, uh, if the left element is less than the right off of i, we will replace the position to replace this left off of i in the main sorted element, I mean the main sorted list in the in the main list. So we will increment this i, i plus plus, and we will increment also the k, k plus plus. I said i is for left half, i is for left half thing, j is for right half thing, and k is for the main sort list. So now what we will do is we will keep the sort list of k, and we will place the position and replace this left half of i element. So similarly, if uh, there will be another case, that is, if right the first element is the smallest element, so what we'll do is we'll uh, write another if condition here, that is, if right up i is less than left off of i, what we'll do is we'll uh, just uh, increment j and k and then we will place this sort list of k and we will place it replace it with uh, uh, this uh, right off of j so we can uh, uh, we can further simplify this we have written k plus plus here and uh, here we can remove both here and we can uh, place this after these two ifs however uh, in any case this k element uh, this k should be incremented so in some cases uh, in the previous example i have shown the left half is completely uh, sorted and the right half is left so in that cases at some point of time in any example uh, one of the list will be sorted first and the other list will be and, and the other list will be left. So for that also we need to write some cases instead of this uh, both here here we have written for uh, i less than left half and j less than right half. Instead of doing that we will write simply for each of them because and at, as, as as I said in some cases only there will be only one list the other list will be completely sorted. So here also we will do this uh, this thing simply what we need to do is we'll just need to increment that and increment this i and we also need to increment this k here similarly for this uh, right half i'll copy this and just this, this should be j and this should be right half and this should be j and this should be right half of j and that's it uh, now we'll uh, print this sorted list
print uh, the list name would be sort list so now we'll uh, uh, run this and see like it's, it's showing some error with the i plus plus so what i'll do is we'll just write the uh, uh, oh actually we have, we have given some spaces here we don't need any spaces here actually you can write i plus plus but I, as you see when I save them, uh, it gave some spaces between these two. That is some uh, uh, this uh, Sublime Text Editor plugin problem. So I will replace it with uh, I plus one. Actually, the how it uh, replaces it, it uh, gives some spaces between these operators. It needs some spaces between operators. That is uh, the P8 uh, uh, format rule. So so in that way, it gives spaces between these. Uh, plus plus actually it should give spaces between like this when there is an operator there should be spaces both sides so it formatted it that way but uh, that will not be applied here so I will change it to j equal to j plus 1 so I have formatted this a bit change this is to i plus 1 instead of i plus plus and k plus plus to k plus 1 j plus plus to j plus 1 so now we will run this and see control shift t and we will run python enter size of the list i will enter some six elements and enter an element element would be 89 uh, 21 54 63 10 Sorry, 10 and 2. You can see 2, 10, 21, 24, 63, 89. This is the uh, final list here. You can see here the final list would be this one 2, 10, 21, 21 54, 63, and 89. Actually, these um, all these before elements are uh, the initial list. So it, it divided into 8, 21, and 54. The, this first list you can see these are these three are the elements 8 21 and 54 this would be one list 6 3 10 2 would be another list so what it did is this this is the list it, it's finally divided into three elements and then combined these to 21 54 and 89 and similarly divided this list into 6 to 3 10 and 2 and then finally combined it to 2 2 10 and 63 and this two list this list and this list are sorted and uh, shown as this uh, final list so that's how this uh, merge sort works thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel watch another video and visit our webpage